Hi everyone, this is David Taylor here to talk to you about your extended definition essay in Unit 2 IP. You know, usually when you hear the word definition, you think of a dictionary or encyclopedia that is used to define terms such as you have in this assignment. A juvenile delinquent is an underage person convicted of crime or antisocial behavior. A venture capitalist is a person who provides money for innovative projects. Now, those are called standard definitions and you should definitely know them and you should definitely put them at the top of your essay whenever you write it on one of these terms that you are assigned. However, a standard definition is only a one small part of an essay that you would write on one of these assigned terms. Let's take a look at those terms right now. Here they are. Juvenile delinquent, stimulus package, bill of rights, ICE, Immigration and Customs Enforcement, Habeas Corpus, Adjudication, Fiduciary, Cubism, Venture Capitalist, Intellectual Property. Or you can suggest your own term to define if your instructor approves. However, regardless of the term you choose, you'll be writing what is called an Extended Definition Essay. And because you're writing an essay, no matter what else you call it, that means you will state a thesis which expresses your individual point of view or unique take on the term you select. This thesis should be stated at or near the end of your introduction paragraph. Two, develop your thesis with at least three body paragraphs that support, prove, or illustrate your thesis. And three, wrap up your essay with a conclusion paragraph that drives home your main point. So the question is, how do you write an effective essay and organize it around one of these terms that you have only passing familiarity with? The answer is, any way you want. Any organizational pattern that you choose can be used to organize this essay. Let's take a look at some of these organizational patterns and how you can possibly use them. In this extended definition essay, you can classify. This is where you divide the subject into types or parts and then describe each type. You can compare. You show how the subject is like or unlike something else. You can illustrate. You tell about incidents and examples that clarify and round out your term. You can analyze origins and causes. Where did the subject come from? What caused it to happen? Or you can show results and uses. Here you describe the consequences and uses of the subject. Can you think of other patterns? Go ahead, be my guest. Take whatever approach you wish when it comes to organizing this essay. You can base your essay on a single pattern or you can combine these patterns in any way you wish, mixing and matching, so to speak. Let's take a look at some example outlines based upon some of these patterns. The first one we'll look at bases its essay on a single pattern. Our term is juvenile delinquent. Its standard definition, an underage person who has committed a crime. Pattern, classify. Thesis, to understand juvenile delinquency, it's necessary to know the major types of delinquents. In our supporting paragraphs, we will discuss the first type of juvenile delinquent, the second type, the third type, and all you have to do is think back to your experience. Those juvenile delinquents probably range from someone who plays hooky from school to someone who commits mass murder, from someone who writes graffiti on a wall to someone who joins in gang killings at the age of 12. All you have to do is think of those types in your experience and describe each one to help round out this understanding of the term juvenile delinquency. Here's another example of a single pattern at work. Term, habeas corpus. Standard definition, legal right to go before a judge after being arrested or imprisoned. Pattern, let's illustrate it with examples. Thesis, 
The concept of habeas corpus has been diluted in America today. Now, our support will consist of illustrative examples that we have encountered in our lives today. Example number one, those Muslim Americans who were arrested and disappeared after 9-11. Example number two, Guantanamo Bay prisoners who have been there for nearly 11 years without ever being charged with a crime. And example number three, the same for Bradley Manning, who has been in solitary confinement for almost a year without ever seeing a judge or ever being charged with a crime. Now, as we talked about, you can also combine these patterns into a single essay, mixing and matching in order to develop the main point, your slant, in the way that best makes that point for you. Let's take a look at how to combine some of these patterns into a single essay. Term, adjudication, standard definition, legal process of resolving a dispute, arbitration. Thesis, when it comes to criminal acts, adjudication short circuits the legal rights of Americans. Our support, well, in our first paragraph, we could use the classify pattern and define forced arbitration as the type of arbitration or adjudication that we are going to write about. Our second paragraph or paragraphs could be based on the narration pattern. Here we would tell the story of Jamie Lee Jones, who was brutally raped by her Halliburton co-workers in Iraq, but required to submit to arbitration without appeal. And then to wrap up the essay, we would use the results or consequences pattern. Because she was deprived of the due process of law, her rapist went free. Also, page 482 in your successful writing text provides an excellent example of using multiple patterns to define the term lurking in an essay. Please take a look at that. Now, regardless of the term you choose or the patterns you employ, remember that this essay must be an APA essay using the APA manuscript settings. Now, that means that your essay must have a title page with running head, page number, and info block. Two, have an abstract page with the word abstract, bold-faced, and centered, and the abstract paragraph not indented. And then your first body page must repeat the main title, all paragraphs following must be indented, and if possible, use the APA subheadings to divide up your main point. Okay, good luck with your extended definition essay, and please let us know if we can help you in any way during the process of writing this essay. Okay, so long, and again, good luck.